today I'm here with an Ulta and Sephora haul and I have them like all of the products in front of me in like categories so they're not like going to be separated by what I got from Sephora and what I got from Ulta so just so you know but they all came from there. Also I just got most of this stuff like today but I've tried a lot of it on my face and I'm wearing like a lot of it right now so I kind of have like first impressions on some of them so yeah let's just get started. Okay so first I'm super excited about the fact that uh, Tarte came out with like new nude blushes from the Amazonian clay blush line because I was waiting forever for uh, like nude colors because I feel like the whole line is just like a bunch of like colorful colors and I like more nude or peach or bronzy colors. I said colors like 20 times but yeah so I got one of the shades. This one's sensual. Sensual. Uh, it's described as a golden peach, no wait, not golden peach, golden nude, <laughs> and I think it's beautiful, basically, it's stunning. I have this on my cheeks today, probably just looks like a nude, whatever, I love it, and I'm definitely gonna get like another shade, I want the one called like Risqué, I think that one's like a peach nude. And I need it. Okay, so I also got another Tarte blush because I have like an obsession with them and I just want to like collect them all. But uh, this one is a colored clay bronzer blush and it's kind of different from the other ones. You can only get this at Sephora. And this one's in the shade Peach Bronze and I love it. I got this because I already had the shade Pink Bronze, which really they look super duper similar. Uh, this one's the pink one. I was like, okay, I was scared that this one would look really similar to that one, but I was completely wrong because this actually looks almost exactly like that uh, other one that I just got. And I think that that is super weird. What are the odds that I get two that look almost just alike? I'll show you the pink one besides this one though. So that is the uh, pink bronze one. And I mean, you can definitely tell a difference that this one's a little bit more pink, but these two are so similar. Um, you definitely probably don't need both of them, but since I love Tarte blushes, I'm gonna keep both of them because I need, like, all shades. So I also got, uh, I hit, like, Sephora VIB Rouge or whatever. That means I spent, like, a thousand dollars this year at Sephora. I was, like, trying to hit that goal, you know? It wasn't, like, just happening. I was like, you know, I'm gonna purposely order everything from Sephora so that I can hit that because, like, I got, like, a little blush with it. Like, with a little welcome thing. And this is the NARS blush in the shade. I really don't know how to say that, so I'm just going to show you. Okay, that is the name. I uh, don't know how to say that. But the color is not my favorite. Like I said, I like nudes, peaches, and bronzes. This is like very, I don't know, berry with a sheen. Two things I don't really like. Which, I mean, like, I've seen that in the picture, but I was like, I don't care. I want, like, another Norse blush because the only one I have is Orgasm, and I don't like that one. This one feels really soft, though. A lot softer than the Tarte ones. But, I mean, there's a swatch. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but maybe one day I'll have, like, a use for it. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and talk about what I have on my lips. And I got some NYX lip products. I got two of the Liquid Suede Cream lipsticks because I already have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I needed two more apparently. I just love them. I think the formula is so good and the colors are just like amazing obviously because look at these two shades right now. Uh, they're both blue. This one's in the shade I think Jet Set and this one is in the shade <laughs> Little Denim Dress. Look at them. I basically have these mixed on my lips right now because I put this one on first and then when I was gonna film I was like that looks really light and kind of weird so I put this one on top and I think it made like a really pretty combo. Like I feel like it matches my shirt really well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I like both of these and I like all the other shades that I have so definitely try them out. Okay so the next lip product I got is another next one. Next one? Next one. And uh, this is one of the Macaroon lip lippies, lip lipsticks. Uh, this one's in Key Lime. Lime? Why does it say that? Key Lime Lime. It's probably Key Lime. Lime? I don't know. Uh, this one's lime green. Look at it. I was looking on Instagram just like normal and I seen someone who had freaking lime green lips and I thought it looked so pretty. I don't know why. It was weird but like then they had like a darker green on the outside so I found this. I was just like looking for like a cheaper alternative because I think she was using like 
OCC lip tars maybe. Uh, so yeah, and then after I found this, I was like, I really need like a green lip liner or something. So I just got an eyeliner that is dark green. And this is the NYX Eye and Eyebrow Pencil. That's weird because this is green. But uh, in Emerald City, I'm going to do swatches, I guess. And it's just like a dark green. I feel like it would go really good with this lime green color. See, look at that. That's going to look so cool when I do it, I swear. Like, I hope. I want to do, like, a tutorial with this or something. Just because it's, like, really different. And, uh, luckily, this green doesn't have, like, any glitter or shine or anything. So, that's awesome. That's why I think it would be really good for, like, a lip liner. Okay, so the next lip product I got is one of the new Smashbox, uh, Always On Liquid Lipstick. These have, like, amazing reviews. And they're apparently really good. I've put this on my lips once and I mean it felt really nice so I don't have anything bad to say about that I got the shade out loud this shade like I want to just like shout out Smashbox for creating this beautiful like burnt orange dark rusty orange type of shade because I love this and like no other like liquid lipsticks from Sephora or Ulta have this shade I swear I've looked trust me and like it was like driving me insane because I wanted the, not Sephora, what? The Ofra Kathleen Lights, what is that? Miami Fever, and I got that, but like I swear to God a week later I lost it. Like what are the odds? Like I wanted it for like a year and then as soon as I get it I lose it. Like I've never lost a lip product ever in my life and then like my precious baby I lose. So anyway. This one is pretty similar to that, but I've looked online at like them swatched together. They're not like dupes really, but they're very close, you know, because they're both like that burnt orange type of color. And I just love that I can get this from Sephora and the formula is apparently amazing as everyone says. The thing I don't like actually is this applicator because can you see how much product is like caked on that? Like whatever I was putting it on my lips, I was just like too much. Too much happening at one time. So next, I just want to throw in that I got another um, Rimmel Stay Matte Lasting, last, Long Lasting Pressed Powder. Uh, this one's in the shade Creamy Natural. Hasn't even been opened, but like basically I use these every day of my life to set my whole face. So I was like running out of this shade and I have like four shades, but yeah, I had to buy a new one. Okay, next I got uh, a new single eyeshadow, which I don't normally buy. I feel like they're kind of like way overpriced because this one was like $17 for a one eyeshadow but I was looking in a store and like I seen this and I was like I need that like it's so pretty so I ordered it online this is the Clinique lid pop and petal pop I don't even know if you can see how freaking gorgeous it is it's like pink with like gold metallicness over top I don't know it's so pretty like I'm gonna show you a swatch I just love this and I think it is so pretty just all over the lid like as a one lid type of color like I have it on today don't know if you can see it it's like so much wing and eyelashes going on but um I love it and I think it's gorgeous whenever it's on the lid I feel like it looks mostly pink and then like you can kind of see gold if like the light hits it but this shade is like perfect and I love it what is my hair doing why are you doing that super weird stuff okay so next i got some concealers um the first one i got is the smashbox there's a hair on this why get off there, the smashbox uh color correcting stick this one's in like light i think yeah light look less tired and i use this today okay that was so weird why did i do that <laughs> but like that that's the shade it's a beautiful peach shade and i use this to like cover up my dark circles under my concealer and I love it. This is so nice. Like, I don't know. The consistency is so nice. Mm. This is like, I'm going to start using this every day because I really like him. So next I got uh, another, just, this one's like a normal concealer. This one's the Urban Decay Naked Skin, obviously. And uh, this one's in the shade Fair Neutral. It's pretty damn light, but I used it today. I don't know if I look too highlighted or anything, but... I got this because I got that little tiny one that I tried out and it was like in a darker shade so I got the lighter shade for me because I'm usually not that tan. But yeah, I like this concealer pretty well. Today I was having like a weird face issue. I don't know what it was, something I used, but like any other time that I've used this, I liked it. So I'm not going to blame it today because I think that this is a good concealer. The only thing that sucks is that it is $28 I think. Who pays that much for concealer? That just pisses me off. 
so stupid. I mean, I guess I pay that much for it, but it's still dumb. And then the next one I got was like really random. I was looking on Ulta and I seen the Ulta brand had a concealer and it's called a full coverage concealer waterproof. This one's in light warm. It's kind of yellowy. I don't know really why I'm showing you a swatch of a concealer, but I am. Uh, this is supposed to be full coverage as the name claims, I guess. Uh, it had really good reviews and the first time I found it, it was like the two shades that I could have that were like the lightest were like out. So I was like, okay, this must be pretty good if like they're like sold out and it has like really good reviews. So I'm going to try this, but I have to be like a little bit tanner because this is like kind of yellowy and kind of dark. So yeah. Okay, so I needed some new eyeliners because... I'm having issues with mine. I have the Clinique um, Pretty Easy Eyelining Pin, I think is what it's called, and I love it because the shape, it like comes to like a really nice point, but like it always transfers from like here to here for some reason. Don't know why. It's weird. So then I was using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. No. Is that what that is? I don't know. It's a Tarte So Fine one. It's like from that line, I think, though. Not sure. But that one is like the freaking applicator tip on it like it's supposed to be like so fine because like the tip's supposed to be so fine but really it's just like so stupid i don't know how to explain it it's just so hard to use so i had to get a new one so i got two to try one is like really cheap and this one is the essence super fine eyelining i mean eyeliner pin waterproof i have the normal version of this it isn't super fine i'm gonna actually compare them but like i seen this one came out with a super fine one so i was like I love that because I love really fine tips because I have a problem getting my wings to look good. So this is what the that looks like. Do you see how long that is? Like that that's super fine I guess. I mean like that's the difference between the regular one and the super fine one. Like that is insane. I did not expect it to be that long but like even though it's so long I feel like it does not come to that much of a point on the end for some reason. Like, yeah, it can make a really thin line if you're using the tip of it, or a thicker one if you, like, push, but I don't know. I tried to use it today, and it was, like, skippy and, like, hard to use. I don't know. I'm going to try it some more, but I don't know. I think it looks interesting, but it's being weird. And then the next one that I got is the uh, tattoo liner from Kat Von D. This one is in Trooper, obviously. That's, like, the black one. I love swatching everything on this hand. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, I used this today and I really like it. I don't know why I expected it to be blacker. Does it look like watery or something to you? I don't know if you can see like enough like closely, but like I seriously feel like that other one is blacker. And then I was like shaking it and I'm like, I don't know, maybe it just needs like some time or something, but like it did good and I like the tip. I had the um, ink liner instead of the tattoo liner and that one had like a felt tip and this one has like a brush tip. I like both the tips, but I think that the ink liner some like somehow was like blacker and better in formula maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna wear this all day and see if it like does anything weird. It probably won't because my other one didn't. So I got a new eyeshadow palette because I really wanted one, but like I know there's like new ones out like the Anastasia one and the what's the other one that's out? Oh yeah, the new The Rock one, which I love the rock eyeshadows. Um but like I don't know, for some reason I was just looking at them like, I feel like all the eyeshadows in these I already have in different palettes. And I was like thinking, is it worth the money to get another palette? So I didn't get either of those. I got the Lorac Matte Pro. Look how cute it is. It's tiny. And it has all matte shades. Look at it. I love these shades so much. Like the setup of this is perfect because like I always like to do looks with like these exact colors that are matte and I just feel like this would be like so perfect to pull out and it'd just be like super easy to do like a matte neutral look like mm. and I love Lorac eyeshadows I haven't used them yet but I'm sure they're amazing okay I got some primers to try some face primers because I feel like I have some but like none of them are amazing I don't I don't know but I got I got two mattifying ones because right around my nose gets melty and I feel like I just needed like some kind of mattifying primer to put just there uh, for the summer. But like I already have the Makeup Forever mattifying step one primer and I don't freaking think that works. So like I hope that these other ones work that I got. But yeah, I got the, uh, this one's the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. It's supposed to be matte, I guess. Uh, I was just like looking on Ulta and then this one had like pretty good reviews. 
and a lot of people were saying it kept them matte and that they liked it so I was like okay like this is super cheap I'm gonna get it and try it and then the next one that I got I feel like I keep going in and out of focus but I'm not like staring at myself in the viewfinder so if I am I don't really know why but like sorry I guess okay so I got the uh, soap and glory one heck of a blot instant perfecting power primer this one's supposed to be also mattifying I think this packaging is so cute but I've heard a lot of people say that they like this and the foundation that is like the one heck of a blot foundation I didn't get that because like it didn't sound like something I wanted but this I got it I'm gonna try it and I put actually today I put this one on one side of my nose and this one on the other side of my nose and we're gonna see if one of them keeps me more more matte than the other they're basically like kind of this one's like white and when i rub it in it's kind of like white for a second but then it like blends away and then this one's like skin colored i think i don't know i guess they felt kind of the same okay and then i wanted like a hydrating primer which sounds like completely opposite of that but i basically wanted it for like the rest of my face so i got the Too faced hangover rx replenishing face primer <sighs> a lot of people love this right i've had a sample of it before and like, I was like, mm, this feels like a moisturizer, like whatever, I don't really know. But I used this today and I put the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation on top of it, which I think is kind of matte, I don't know. But it looked horrible and I don't know if I want to blame this or like that foundation I've used a lot and I usually like it. So I'm like confused at what the problem was. It just basically, my pores looked huge. I mean, I, they still kind of do everything. After I set everything, it looked a little bit better, but if it was this, I'm gonna be shitty because this thing was like $32 and I mean I will obviously just send it back if it's bad. I'm gonna try it like some more with some other foundations because like a lot of people talk about loving this. Like a lot. So like I don't, I don't know. It felt nice on the skin. I just feel like that foundation with it was like a no-no. Okay this video is probably gonna be like pretty damn long. Sorry but this is what happens when I buy a lot of things. I don't know. Okay, so the next thing I got is, well, this is the last makeup product I got, so it's okay. But this is something I just found when I was looking for matte primers. It's the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. I've never heard anyone talk about this or, like, use it, and I didn't even, like, know it was a thing. But since I said I was looking for something to help keep, like, around my nose matte, that's, like, the only place that even has a problem. But I bought this anyway because it looked interesting. I used it today. Uh, it was fine. I really don't know if it did anything amazing. But it has the, the largest spray come out of it. Like, I swear, it was, like, it was just, like, one spray was just, like, tsh, like, my whole face. Like, it was kind of crazy. I, I used, like, a decent amount of this don't really know how I'm gonna tell if I really like it or anything. I should probably use it on a day when I don't use like any mattifying primers and see if maybe it helps. I don't, really don't know. Okay, the last two things I got were hair products. I tried one of them and I haven't tried the other one. So first I got the Everpro Beauty Gray Away For Women Temporary Root Concealer. Why is there hair on everything? This is gross. Like what? Okay, and this is something you spray on your roots to cover up um, your, 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 roots <laughs> uh like okay it says gray away so i guess it's for people who have like some gray hair but like for me i got it to like cover up my roots because my hair is actually blonde so as soon as it starts growing out it looks crazy compared to this black so i got like the darkest one black slash dark brown i have already this which is the ever pro gray away root touch up magnetic powder this has like a little puff in it and then like in the top you like dip it in there and you put it on your roots and i like that I think it works, but it feel, I feel like it takes like a while because I'm just like doing all my roots, like just rubbing that little thing on it. So I decided to get this and try it. I like sprayed it on my hand earlier and it was like intense, kind of scary, but I feel like this would just be like faster. So hopefully I like it. And then the last hair product I got, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of expensive. I would never, I normally don't pay this much for any hair products. Like it was probably like $20 for this size, uh, one ounce, I think. No, five fluid ounces. Why did I say one ounce? I don't know, but it was like, yeah, like around 20, 18 maybe. This is the Redken Thickening Lotion 06 Volumize Volume All Over Body Builder. I don't know. Someone I feel like recommended this to me because I said I had thin hair. I don't remember, but then I went and looked at reviews on it and it had really good reviews like really good reviews. A lot of people like this for thickening their hair. So I used it today. I'm supposed to use it on damp hair whenever you get like out of the shower and then blow dry your hair. 
and it definitely made my hair thicker. The thing is, you can't really tell right now because I put in hair extensions, so I mean, my hair looks thicker anyway. But I definitely tell that it worked, so I'm pretty happy with this purchase, and I'm gonna keep using it. And yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. It seems good so far. Okay, so that is all for this haul video. Sorry, it was really long. I probably could have like did it into like Ulta haul and Sephora haul, but I wasn't really thinking that I wanted to do that, so I didn't. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, subscribe and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.